Scientists are studying the Gulf of St. Lawrence, and they're seeing two worrying trends. The water is getting warmer, and the winter ice is vanishing. And that can have a huge impact on marine life. We expect long-term trends. It's going to get warmer. Fisheries and Oceans Canada says water temperatures in the Gulf have been rising for years, but 2024 was a record breaker. The surface water temperature in July reached 16.7 degrees Celsius, 2.4 degrees higher than normal, the hottest ever recorded. It was the warmest air temperature which gave us the warmest sea surface temperature. Winter air temperature is warming about twice as fast, and if we project 50 to 75 years into the future, a usual winter in the Gulf of North won't have any sea ice. And we're already headed in that direction. The maximum ice volume for the Gulf during winter 2024 was the lowest it's been since 1969. And for the Northwest Atlantic harp seal, that's a big problem. They depend on the ice to give birth and feed their young. Less ice means more trouble for the pups. We see that in years where there is a very poor ice, um, we see um, massive mortality events uh, for the pups because the ice can break and that can lead to the drowning of the pups. The researchers say if there's no ice, the females will likely venture elsewhere to find some. And there are other changes happening in the Gulf. Scientists have noticed a decline of small crustaceans called Calanus hyperboreus. That's worrying because it could affect the food supply for herring, mackerel, and the North Atlantic right whale. And these are just some of the changes to the Gulf of St. Lawrence as environmental changes take their toll.